Sexual offences in South Africa showed an upward trend of 2.1% in 2010-2011 and the North West Provincial Executive Council has introduced a range of austerity measures as part of the drive to curb unnecessary spending. Ambusisua Khatebe with the latest news update. Sexual offences in South Africa, including rape and indecent assault, showed an upward trend of 2.1% in 2010 2011 compared to the figures for the previous year. Cases of murders of women increased by 5.6%, and sexual offences against children increased by 2.6% during this period. These figures have been revealed by the Minister for Women, Children and People with Disabilities, Lulu Kungwana. She was launching the 16 Days of Activism campaign of No Violence Against Women and Children. It will run from tomorrow until 10 December. KwaZulu-Natal police say more arrests are expected in connection with fraudulent claims submitted to the Road Accident Fund. Eight suspects were arrested in Durban and Peter Maritzburg yesterday. Police spokesperson Vincent Mdunge says fraudulent claims totaling 92 million rand were being processed apart from the money already made. They have defrauded the road accident fund well over 92 million rand. One suspect had been paid 4 million rand already and there was well over 14 million rand that was due to him. We are quite hopeful that we are going to be arresting very high profile people who have perpetrated as well on similar crimes and we really want to warn the general public not to be led astray by this professionals. ANC Youth League leader Julius Malema is expected to attend a meeting of the ruling party's National Executive Committee in Bloemfontein this weekend while his suspension comes under appeal. The Youth League's legal team has said it will today launch a formal appeal to the organization's National Disciplinary Committee of Appeals against the sentences passed on the Youth League's top six members. These included a five-year suspension for Malema. Edwin Tsiri has more. The ANC says the suspension of Malema and his executive will not be discussed at the NEC meeting this weekend. The party's Jackson Mtembu says the committee is not part of the appeals process. That matter is before the National Disciplinary Committee of Appeals. It will not arise in the NEC meeting. Malema and his General Secretary, Sendiso Magata, are part of the ANC-NEC. They will come face to face with members of the ruling party's National Disciplinary Committee, who also sit in the NEC. Edwin Ntsidi. SABC News. And lastly, the Northwest Provincial Executive Council has introduced a range of austerity measures as part of the drive to curb unnecessary spending. Among other measures, the cabinet has stopped year end parties at taxpayers' expense. Athlenda Mate has more. In a statement from the office of the Premier Tandi Mudise, the announcement forms part of a belt tightening exercise. The decision was taken by the Cabinet at its last meeting for the year, held yesterday in Taung. Other measures include non-purchasing of new state vehicles for MECs. There will be no overseas travel for MECs, unless in exceptional circumstances, and each one of them will be entitled to one mobile phone. A tight fleet management has also been introduced to ensure that state vehicles are not driven around after hours and during weekends. Athlenda Mati, SABC News, Mahikeng.